Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Dense fog advisory continues here in southern New England into tomorrow morning. If you're going to be out driving overnight, keep the speeds down as some of that fog is a little on the thick side. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing no organized showers out there, but there have been some areas of drizzle. Live city cam picture case in point here. Doesn't look like much. You can see a, a few lights there down as we look on off uh, from the top of the buildings onto Providence and uh, it's pretty soupy out there. Temperature of 43 degrees with a calm wind, barely a breath of wind anywhere. And as a result, we're seeing all this low level humidity turn into some fog. Visibilities out there, half mile in Providence and Smithfield and Westerly and Newport and Block Island, all over Rhode Island, about a half mile visibility. Same for New Bedford. Out on the Cape and Islands, a little bit of a wind. We're seeing better visibilities. Temperatures out there right now are generally uh, between 43 and 45 degrees. Fairly uh, uniform uh, weather all over southeastern New England uh, this evening. You see lots of clouds continuing to spill overhead, but also notice the absence of any precipitation. No green, no pinks, no blues. This warm front is going to be lifting northward over the next 24 hours. And while we have above average temperatures right now. This is warmer than the uh, average high for the date that 42 degrees while we have the uh, mild temperatures now it's only going to get milder as this front lifts northward and uh, works its way on off to our south. So first thing tomorrow morning clouds drizzle some more fog, but in the afternoon some partial hazy sunshine and temperatures topping out in the low 50s. Let's take a look at it with our neighborhood future cast. Here we are 10 o'clock 11 o'clock this evening temperatures mostly holding steady throughout the overnight taking you into tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock in the morning basically where we are right now in the lower 40s. But notice what happens late in the morning. Warm front comes on through temperatures getting into the low 50s and then staying there right into tomorrow evening. So for overnight temperatures holding steady with areas of fog, a little drizzle from time to time. Your Sunday morning starting out soupy, but by late in the morning gets a little bit better into the upper 40s by 11 o'clock with a maybe a splash of sunshine. Not a lot of sun tomorrow. Temperatures everywhere topping out in the low 50s. So a mild day Riverside Warwick Cranston, including Garden City, about 53 degrees along the uh, uh, south coast, upper 40s to about 50 degrees. Northern Rhode Island temperatures should be topping out similarly in the low 50s with a blend of clouds and some sun, although we're not looking at a bright sunny day tomorrow. The bigger stories with the mild temperatures, low 50s in Fall River and New Bedford as well at the big game tomorrow. 51 degrees at kickoff in January. That's unbelievable. Mainly cloudy and dry conditions there. Still mild on Monday with a chance for a few rain showers. Tuesday looks dry. There may be a mix Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Looks light and then cooling off, getting colder for the end of the week. Yeah, back back down to seasonable temperatures. Back to January weather late right. in the week. Thank you, TJ. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 11, the New England Patriots.